we traveled to Pullman, Washington, home of Washington State University's renowned sports science lab. And that exact shot was just over six tenths of a second. There, we asked the lab's experts to collect volunteers from the community, young and not so young, male and female, and position them behind protective glass 75 feet from home plate, the same distance at which they'd be fully exposed at most major league parks. Then, to gauge what could happen at a game, lab technicians fired baseballs at the volunteers at about 95 miles an hour, the typical speed of a hard hit foul ball. All right, so you're totally focused. You know I'm what's totally going to happen. Focused. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm hopeless, aren't I? Um, it's amazing how quick it comes. So sit tight. I'm going to come back, right back to you. To help explain, Professor Lloyd Smith showed us a slow motion replay. So he's doing nothing. His hands are still in his lap. Exactly. Yeah, he's not even close to defending himself. While some of our subjects showed elusive ability when they were fully expecting the ball, Almost no one came close when their attention was even slightly diverted, as it might be at a real game. <laughs> Whether by their phones, Jesus, a casual conversation, and, and you're oh god, <laughs> I totally missed, or a ballpark prank. So he still doesn't see it. The ball's already in screen, hits the glass, and only then. Does his head turn towards? Yeah, it's not until it's at the glass that he even starts to move. Very good. Oh, oh that I totally would have missed. She's still not even moving out of the way. Right. Right in the chiclets. Yeah. Beth, you bought it. Sorry. Better not go to any more games, huh? <laughs> or they better get me a helmet.